Hey everybody, this is the unboxing of the Star Wars 360 Connect bundle. Now, when this game console was first announced, it was going to be the first white connect, which, you know, they just made limited edition Xbox 360 with limited edition controllers that are all white. I mean, like, even the little buttons here are white. It's kind of like, pissed me off a little bit. It has a uh, three, and it's supposed to be the first. Oh, the biggest 360, 320 gigabyte hard drive. Then later on, they gives the war had, had 320 hard drive. The Call of Duty came with one. I think there was another one. Uh, no, what was that? Oh no, no, just well, actually no, just just the three of them, just the three of them. <laughs> Okay, so now we've seen the box. Talked a little bit about the history of it. It's my favorite time. Uh, that's just my workstation, so you know, kind of excuse me for everything. Not being too neat in here. Let's see, what is this? Looks like the quick user guide. Here's the console itself. I'm actually not going to use this because I already got a limited edition reach. If anything, I'm just going to take the hard drive out and the connect. Connect Star Wars. I really don't even feel like I'm actually going to play this. Oh, they got a picture of a kid playing it on the back. And well, that means it's really going to be interesting. Some papers. Here's the connect bar. Here's the wires, looks like the power supply right here. Which, which again, don't need the power supply. Don't even need the whole thing. Uh, cable. Which one are we unbox the cable? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I have to do. 
a AV cable. Yeah, I kind of hate how they keep using these cheap AV cables. Right, the good stuff. Let's see, it comes with a headset. I don't know, I might use the headset, maybe. Over this shiny controller. I'm going to just display everything out that it comes with, but it's kind of redundant. I mean, anyone who knows anything about Xbox knows what an Xbox should come with. It should come with your wires, your power cable, and your TV hookup. And your controller. If you're lucky, sometimes you'll even get a game or two. Most importantly, a game that doesn't suck. Don't think I got lucky in that fucking aspect. Okay, so I kind of need two hands to pull this piece out. This is the connect bar. Yeah. off of it because I will be utilizing the connect feature Connect bar right here. Just get a little further away from the camera so you can get the whole thing in the shot. That's the sensor. See it from the side. That side. A little something on there. Here's the cable. The only thing is, I'm just going to figure out a way to put this thing. Well, that's the yeah, connect bar. Connect sensor bar. My asshole's probably going to correct me. What is that? Connect sensor bar, dumbass. I'm going to eat my ass, assholes. Now, here's the controller. Comes with these little double A's, but every time, no, with Xbox 360, anytime you get a controller, you're going to get free batteries. I got a lot of free double A's lying around this house. Let's see, here's the black bomb finish. I mean, the finish on the paint looks a lot better than the regular black controller finish. Side view. Front view. Um, he didn't really do anything for the top. It's supposed to be like C three PO. They only did like artwork on the bottom part of the controller. They didn't do anything for this part of the controller. <laughs> Or you know on the bow. 
You know, standard little control thingy. Now this is the morphing controller. It's my first time having one of these. And I have no idea how you morph it. But either which way, I'm not even going to use the morphing. I think at least. Ah, ah, there you go. You twist it. Like. And then it becomes back like a regular D pad. It's a nice little trick. I noticed the analogs on here are a little bit different. They don't have the little grips on them like it used to. It's more like a little caved in thing. I don't know if it's going to help or hurt the performance. But, I'm going to wrap this thing back up. I already got too many fingerprints on it. Once again, some of these things are not going to be used. They want to sit here, and if anyone wants to buy them from me, well, no, I'm going to, I'm going to charge top dollar for this shit. I don't care. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Finally, the main course that everyone's waiting for. Now, the only thing I'm going to do with this is just take the hard drive out. No actual desire to actually have a third system being used. I'm not going to even tell my friends I have this. Beautiful. Yeah, it would be nice if they actually would put an actual button on there. It, lo it looks like there's a button, but there's not. I'm well, not supposed to be like C3PO's, you know, I. This is a button. That's where they sit your controllers at. This is the bomb view, or right side view depending on how you look at it back view just like the regular one <laughs> thing looks nice is it from the, the side? Is it from the top? Around here. And in case anyone doesn't know how you pull the hard drive out of the 360, just like that. And as you see, it's a regular SAR connection.
So that is my third Xbox that I have bought. And no, actually, yeah, the third. My this is actually my fourth Xbox that I own. My one I bought, you know, actually I earned the money and spent it on. The first one was bought for me by my best friend, so that's where I got my first Xbox from. But, uh, the other guys I bought all three of them. So that is it for the unboxing of the Star Wars Xbox 360. This is Rendix here. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.